They triumphed over him. That's the devil. By the blood of the lamb. That's Jesus. And by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. That's Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 out of the New International Version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church and welcome to the Prayer 365 podcast where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. What a wonderful way for you to start your day holding fast to your commitment to pray. And we believe that Thrive, a church that prays together, is a church that will indeed thrive together. I want to take a quick second and say thank you to each of you that have taken a moment to hit the subscribe button. Those of you that follow, those that share, um, share this prayer with others. It is an absolute blessing to share the gift of prayer with those that are around us. Amen. It's such a blessing because every time I turn around, I'm hearing a testimony about how prayer has changed or transform someone's life and that's what we're here for that's why we do this every single day amen now my brothers and sisters i want to take a quick second and also encourage us if you missed the message on sunday make sure you go back and watch the replay amen that'll give some context as for why we are here this week talking about the theme of nothing but the blood i want somebody to say out loud say i'm so thankful for the blood of jesus Yes, my brothers and sisters, it's the blood of Jesus, my goodness, that changed the whole game, as they would say. It changed everything. The blood of Jesus came in, my brothers and sisters, and as we understand yesterday, we declare that it covered the cost. Yes, the blood of Jesus, it covered the cost the cost it covered the cost of my sin it covered the cost of your sin and not just our sin but the sin of the entire world wow how did sin even get here it got here because there was this there was this this being called satan who allowed himself to go into the he's a spirit so he went inside of a snake or a serpent and he convinced man to do the wrong thing and this guy, along with his angels, yes, he was an angel. Here he is. They started fighting with Michael and his angels up in heaven. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 7, it really depicts this. And it talks about how this war broke out in heaven. They were going at it. And understand that that Satan and his angels, they could not withstand or they could not handle or overtake Michael and his angels. No, they lost. Satan desired to exalt himself above God. He desired to be worshiped. He desired to not be the one that leads the people in worship, but to receive the worship himself. The problem is Satan is not a creator of anything. He's not a progenitor of anything except one thing, and that's lies. And my brothers and sisters, those lies have created chaos throughout this world, throughout all of time. It has been creating chaos. But one thing about it, I love the word of God, and it shows us the one thing that was able to overcome Satan and his angels. And my brothers and sisters, if we go back to the scripture, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, it says that they, which is Michael and his angels, they triumphed over him that satan by the blood of the lamb i want you to see that right there my brothers and sisters they didn't triumph him with a sword they didn't triumph him uh, with grenades they didn't triumph him uh, with a, a clap back as far as um, talking trash or talking about his mama or whoever it was no, no they didn't overcome him by using oh i'm going to get in a little bit of trouble this morning by using any type of crystals or burning sage or all that other stuff no they didn't they didn't overcome that spirit or the enemy or the adversary by those other things the only thing that overcame the blood of the overcame satan i should say was the blood of the lamb it was the blood of jesus that was the only thing that overcame satan along with their testimony about such a thing 
That's what overcame the enemy. Perhaps you've been trying to figure out what is it that's going to help me to overcome the enemy in my life. I feel like I'm in such warfare. I feel like I'm like I'm going through so much. I want you to know today, my brothers and sisters, that it's nothing but the blood of Jesus that conquered the enemy. If you're going to talk about something, that's the thing to talk about. Give your testimony about the blood of Jesus. To give your testimony about how the blood has come into your life and covered the cost of all sin. How the blood of Jesus has come in and conquered the enemy. It's nothing but the blood, my brothers and sisters. Somebody say that he conquered the enemy. Oh, yes. Satan was conquered by the blood of Jesus. All of his angels. See, the Bible shows us that it was a third of the angels that he had convinced to follow him. All of them were conquered by the blood of Jesus. Perhaps there are so many things that you're fighting in your life right now that you should not be fighting yourself, but you should be reminded that it's nothing but the blood of Jesus. Perhaps you've been attacking people in relationships, not realizing that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers and principalities. Yes, wickedness in high places. My goodness, brothers and sisters, it wasn't this that we're fighting. No, it was a spirit. And the only way that we can overcome it is by the blood of Jesus. We're fighting a fight that we cannot fight ourselves, but one that has already been won for us and we can overcome the enemy by the blood. It's a, it's a thing to remember. And when we, when we plead the blood of Jesus, what we do is we remind ourselves and we remind the adversary of what Jesus did on the cross. He overcame sin. He overcame the enemy. With an overwhelming victory by his death on the cross. You may say, well, pastor, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why would God allow himself to be nailed to a cross? Because he loves you so much. Because his death was the only thing that would redeem you. It's the only thing that would set you free. His blood was the only one that was worthy to be the sacrifice for your for your sins and the entire world and my sins. Yes, it was only his blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus was going to overcome Satan. So as you move forward today, perhaps you've been fighting a physical fight. Perhaps you've been fighting this thing in your own might, but not understanding that it's not because of what you can do, but it's because of what Christ already did. You've been trying to figure out how to defeat the enemy, how to overcome that addiction, how to overcome that issue, that desire, how to overcome that desire to overeat, how to how to overcome those issues in your mind that want to go and do crazy stuff, how to overcome those issues in your home, how to overcome those issues on your job, those people who you've been having issues with for days and weeks and months and years. You've been trying to figure out how to overcome it. But my brothers and sisters. It's nothing but the blood that conquered the enemy. I want to pray for you today. I want to pray that instead of pleading or using yourself as your number one device of attack, I want you to now remember that it is the blood of Jesus that already conquered the enemy. That means I don't have to clap back when they talk trash to me. That means that I don't have to uh, go and do some craziness, with craziness when craziness comes at me. No, all I have to remember is what Jesus did on the cross for all of us. And I know that it was nothing but the blood that conquered my enemy. That sickness that you're dealing with. It was the blood of Jesus that conquered that that issue that you're going on with that you're having mentally. It was nothing but the blood that conquered that the issue that you're dealing with relationally. It was nothing but the blood that conquered that nothing but the blood conquers our enemy. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today on this turn it around Tuesday. 
to know that it was nothing but the blood of Jesus that conquered our enemy. And Lord, we want to say, forgive us of our sin. Father, forgive us for every time we tried to work it out all by ourselves. Forgive us for every time that we made an attack physically when this was an attack that's done spiritually. And the only way that we can overcome it is by the sacrifice of your son, Jesus. So Lord, forgive us. And God, we know that you are faithful and just to do so and that you will cleanse us by the blood of Jesus and that you will make us righteous in your presence today. And Father, for that, we want to say thank you this morning. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for what Jesus did on Calvary. Father, we thank you that the victory was already obtained. Father, that he triumphed over the enemy. Father, by the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we give you praise and honor today for that. And Lord, it's our request that, Father, as we press forward, that as we walk into these issues or these these areas of trouble, that, Lord, we would not become become defeated that we would not become nervous that we would not become anxious but father we will remember what your son did on a cross for each of us that we remember the blood of Jesus that it was the blood of Jesus that overcame the adversary and it's the blood of Jesus that's still overcoming him today father it's not by might it's not by power but Lord it's by the spirit father that was inside of the blood of Jesus and Lord Lord, we give you praise today, God, for the blood. Father, I pray that, God, that we would that we would apply the power of the blood in our relationships, that we would apply the power of the blood in our finances, that we would apply the power of the blood in our health issues, that we would apply the power of the blood in every area of our lives. Because blood is nothing but the blood of Jesus that conquered our enemy. And Lord, as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lord, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the hand of the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. God bless you all. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this Turn It Around Tuesday. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. He didn't make you to just barely make it, nor to struggle or strive, but God created you to thrive. So you do that by not fighting just by your hands no no no. we don't fight with these not fighting with that mouth no the only purpose you're going to use that mouth is to remember that it was the blood of jesus that that set us free it's the blood of jesus that conquered the enemy i love you god bless you i'll see you tomorrow at the same time bye-bye